Oh, it's like making me, it's making my skin crawl. No, 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 no. No, I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Okay, I like that. The rustling of the leaves sounds really cool. What is up? Ian Vuitton Dawn here. We got a sick video coming today. We got the Rig 800 Pro HX is into review. Let's get into it. I've been waiting for a long time to open this box. It's still sealed. We got to unbox this thing. I drank too much Mountain Dew. I can't stop talking. It's one in the morning. Let's go. It's going to be awkward to open this box like this, but I'm doing it anyways. Why not? Already. This might be a good sign, guys. Ooh. All right, all right, recycled, I like that. And also, you know what? Maybe they didn't put a lot of money into the packaging because they wanted to make the product better. But there's something else in here and I can't get it. Come on! Let's go! The moment we've all been waiting for. Bah! Ooh. All right, we got a little quick start guide here. We got a little uh, hearing damage statement. Don't need that. Ooh, it's got some stickers. Gear up, get good. I like that slogan. All right, here's a little wireless adapter. Ooh. All right, so let's set that aside here. Hmm, micro USB. Ooh, that's going to deduct some points right there. I mean, it's 2022. Like, you can put it on a USB-C. Ooh, look at that. Cool. Okay, so what else we got here? Power cable, maybe? Yeah, USB charging cable. So right out of the box, these things look sick. I mean, they got the carbon fiber on the side. You can definitely see the drone inspiration here. You know what? Hit them with the product shots. Captain Vanover. Oh no, Ian, you're too fast. Oh, Ian wins. Oh, suck it, Vanover. You guys didn't see that, did you? Oh, is it hot in here? Is it just me? Anyways, we're back. Wow, I haven't even tried this headset yet. And let's get over to the computer. All right, guys, we're over at the computer. He went into the computer, you idiot. Well, I don't think I'm gonna fit in there. Oh, what? You actually think you're supposed to fit in a computer? Come on. It was on. stupid. It was stupid of me to say that. It was dumb. It was a dumb thing to say, okay? We chose you as a product reviewer because you had common sense. Use common sense. Nothing to see here. We're just going to test these out. All right. So, you guys now have the pleasure of listening to me with the audio recorded from the 800 Pro HXs. And now, we're going to test it out. Bro, I'm getting goosebumps here. This is so sick. Ah, uh, I want the new Forza game. Yo, I gotta get an Xbox. So right away, guys, the bass is a little lacking. I mean, the sub bass is really lacking a little bit. You don't really get that full sound, I guess you could say. All right, let's try Leaf. Let's see what this sounds like. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. No, I do not like that. I do not like that at all. That is, what the? <laughs> There's bugs going on everywhere. I do No, no. Okay, listen, let me read it to you. Take in a relaxing stroll through the forest and hear why the incredible sound of Dolby Atmos is at the heart of great home entertainment. Listen for the incredibly realistic, lifelike detail and clarity of birds chirping, the lush howl of wind rustling the leaves, and the subtle whirling of a seed falling through the trees. It has no mention of bugs making noise in there. I don't like bug noises in my ears. All right, I'm going to try it again for the video, but I really don't like this one. <laughs> Soundstage is cool. It almost sounds like... Whatever that noise is, there's like a like a buzzing noise over here. It almost sounds like a lion roaring or something, but I think it's a bug's wings. Oh, it's like making me, it's making my skin crawl. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, I like that. The rustling of the leaves sounds really cool. The sound stage going back and forth, cool. If I had to guess what the frequency chart for these headphones would sound like, or if I had to draw it here, 
I'll show you. So that's exactly what I picture the actual frequency chart to look like. So low on the sub bass, you got some bass coming in there, some mids, the highs and the mids are pretty much balanced, pretty much even, and then the super highs kind of taper off a tiny bit there. So that would be my guess. Let's see if we can find the actual chart for them. I guess we don't have one for the 800HX, so we won't be able to tell if my assumption is correct here. But I don't know if this is going to be the same as these, because this is for the 800LXs. It might be similar though, and if it is, look at this guys. This headset, very comfortable. I gotta say, the adjustment that you have here of the actual ear cups is great. So if you have a really small head, you can move them all the way up to the top. So you can move that all the way up. Or if you have a big head like I do, you can move them all the way down, take it off. And then you can just clip it in here, all the way down at the bottom. So that's nice. Not only that, but the headband portion of it's very comfortable. It's very springy. So I personally could barely even feel it on the top of my head, which was nice. Let's go through the buttons really quick. So on the top, you have your game chat and your game sound mix. So you can adjust which one you want to hear more of. You have your power button, your pair button. You have your overall volume. You have your mic button. So the mic button actually adjusts the volume of your monitoring as well. So, so a single press would be off, so no monitoring. Two presses turns the volume up to medium, and then three presses and it's high, so or loud. So, so I guess I'll give you my final thoughts now. So, I mean, if you're a hardcore gamer, if you're somebody that needs the clarity, really, like games like Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, any first-person shooter game is really where these are gonna shine, I think. Just from the clarity itself, the pinpoint accuracy, of the sound direction, the sound stage, I think is really gonna help you in games like that. I think they're lacking a little bit in the bass, a little bit in the bass and the sub bass, but overall for 150 bucks, yes, I definitely recommend them. And I do plan to continue to use them with my computer actually. So this is actually really gonna be put to the test because this is gonna become my daily driver headset now. So we'll really see if, uh, if it holds up. I like the weight, these things weigh nothing. So that's great. The mic quality, it sounds pretty similar to like pretty much anything, any other headset any other gaming headset that I've ever heard, Turtle Beaches, Tritons, stuff like that. You do have the active monitoring, which is nice too. That's like the Turtle Beaches where you can actually hear yourself in the headphones and that's cool. I like that a lot. I would take off a few points for the lacking sub bass. Do I think you should pay extra money to get something with the Dolby Atmos 3D? No, I don't, honestly. I think that anybody can hear it if you go on to YouTube and type in Virtual Barbershop. I know that's pretty popular, but I'm sure probably a lot of you have already heard it, but it does sound very, very similar. I don't necessarily like that they're kind of marketing that as like a new thing or something that you should pay extra for. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute here. You have to pay for it? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's cool, but it's not that cool. So that's my final thoughts. You're gonna learn something today, all right? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and... <laughs> Ooh, I gotta cool down. Is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Anyways, we're back. 